Karim, Sammy, why are you late? We aren't very late, Yasin. I almost died of hunger. Sorry, the math teacher held us up. Let's go. This looks so good. Yum. This food is delicious. Yes, and it's probably even more delicious for someone who is always hungry, like you. Yummy, yummy. There's no more bread. I'll go get some. All right, but be fast. I'm back. No, no, don't say that. Why are they whispering to each other? They don't want me to listen to their conversation. They are probably talking about me. Why didn't you finish your food? Where are you going? Why is he leaving like that? I don't know. Maybe something got him angry. Let's catch up to him and see what's wrong. Yasin, wait up. Yasin, why did you leave the cafeteria angry and sad like that? Because of you both. Because of us? How come? You were whispering, both of you, and you left me out of your conversation. I thought we were friends. There is nothing wrong with that. We were talking about something that doesn't concern you. A subject like that doesn't concern me? It seemed like you were talking about me. Oh no, we would never do that. I'm not so sure about that. Leave me alone. Are we going to keep our friend angry? No, of course not. But he will soon forget all about it, and we will be friends again in a day or two. He can't stay angry at us this whole time. We have to see him and make things right. There he is. Let's go see him. Yasin, why are you sitting so far? I don't want to sit next to them. Why not? They made me angry. But what did we do? We want to say sorry for making you angry. But what did they do, Yasin? When we were eating, they started talking to each other in a low voice and left me out of the conversation. Was it a mistake, Mualima? We call this an aside, and yes, it is forbidden. So it was a secret conversation? Yes, exactly. It is when two people have a conversation, excluding the third person. I learned about this in chapter Al Mujadala. Allah says, The secret counsels are only the work of the shaitan, that he may cause to grieve those who believe, and he cannot hurt them in the least, except with Allah's permission. And on Allah, let the believers rely. Very good, Yasin. And the Prophet, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, forbade us to do so. He said, When three of you are together, two of you must not converse privately, ignoring the third, as the third could be grieved. But Mualima, what we talked about does not concern Yasin, and we didn't mean him any harm. Yes, children, I know, but our religion commands good manners and politeness when dealing with others. What if there were more than three of them, Mualima? Bidden to have a secret conversation which leaves any person out. And this rule applies to any situation, regardless of how many people there are. The person left out will feel even more sad. What if two or more people are left out? The Prophet, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, said, in the presence of three people, two should not hold secret counsel, to the exclusion of the third, lest the third should be grieved. Abu Salid then asked um Umar, what if there are four people? He said, there is no harm in that. What if there are three people, and two of them know a language, that the third person does not? Are they even allowed to speak that language, even though the third person does not understand? No, because that is considered to be a secret conversation. And if the two people want to discuss a very important topic that does not concern the third person, what should they do? They should postpone their conversation or simply ask permission from the third person to speak privately. Oh, I understand now. Yasin, we are really sorry we hurt you. Yeah, we didn't know it was wrong. 
It's okay, my friends.